Hi guys, this is Reggie. Today is an exciting day. I'm gonna show you how to set up CUDA Miner in NVIDIA Jetson TX2. If you are watching my video, I think you already know why you should use CUDA Miner instead of uh, CG Miner. So the first uh, important thing to do when you get your Jetson TX2 is to install Jetpack because Jetpack contains CUDA two kits the one you should use okay is jetpack 3.1 not 3.2 i tried to use 3.2 and my json won't even open the ubuntu system so what happened is that i tried 3.2 by using ubuntu 16.4 on my host PC, the JSON stuck at the login screen. So I can't type in the password into the login screen and uh, I can't use my mouse. I cannot use the keyboard. Instead, I used Jetpack 3.1 on my host and it works. So that's the first important thing to pay attention to. Second, thing is uh, your host okay must be ubuntu 14.04 it took about more than one hour to finish the whole uh, installation but it's worth the time i recommend you to watch jason hacks youtube channel and follow uh, the tutorial read video about how to setting up a jetpack okay after you done it go to this uh, github uh, repository and uh, git clone the repository at download so the instructions saying it tested on json tx2 with jetpack 3.1 and uh, the Ubuntu uh, building version is uh, 27.1 with two CUDA kit 8.0. I tested it on mine. The Ubuntu release version is 28.1, Jetpack 3.1. Follow instruction here. Okay, CD into download and then CUDA minor folder. Copy paste uh, this instruction to here and uh, run the autogen shell script and run the configuration, make the file. To test if you did everything correctly, you need to run this uh, benchmark test. You need to read this uh, readme.txt file to know how to use the command. I will show you the one I use to make it work like this. The average speed of uh, TX2 is about maybe 70, 71 kilobyte hash per second, which is slow. But uh, because JSON is a low power device, I think this performance is uh, decent. Let's get back to how to use the command. The command I will type is backslash CUDA manner okay read this dash L auto because I don't know what configuration I'm gonna use so just uh, use dash L auto pass the string auto it's uh, the program will do the auto tuning and then auto dash M1 Dash O followed by URL of mining server and then dash big O followed by username and password. So I taught you how to enter this in my previous video. If you don't know how to use that, please refer back to my tutorial one of this series and then hit enter 
you will get something like this. Today's bonus, I want to show you some uh, technical analysis I did for Litecoin. I used the Fibonacci retracement and Fibonacci extension to do an analysis between March 30th, 2017 and September 17th, 2017 to predict the Litecoin price in the future. The result is uh, stunning as you can see. The Litecoin price reached this golden ratio on December 19th, 2017. Okay, so this is the same analysis based on on today's uh, stock price. Okay, this is current. But what I see is that in this year, the Litecoin price will probably reach back to 302. It's uh, scary for me to say it, it, it will reach to this price, but who knows. I'm not sure if the history will repeat itself in this year. Like uh, last year, the highest point hit in this zone. You can see. Not sure. Not sure if, if in this year, the price will go to here. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.